Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing so, so well. Today I have a super fun video for us. I am going to take you through my bathroom, which is a relatively small bathroom, but I want to show you how I keep it organized as well as how I have it decorated. And then I'm also going to show you kind of like just a brief overview of my makeup table because I don't keep my makeup in my bathroom. So I wanted to show you guys how I keep that organized as well. So I will keep this intro super, super super short and without further ado let's go ahead and jump on into it okay you guys so walking into my bathroom this is what you see so I'll go ahead and just kind of give you an overview of what everything looks like Okay, you guys, so starting with my countertop, I really do try to keep this pretty clear so that I can just easily pull out whatever I need to get ready in the morning. I do have a couple of decorational pieces over here. I have a picture, a plant, my toothbrush, I keep some hand soap, obviously, and I have my little owl. He is here for fall time. I also have this little glass container that I use to keep bobby pins in and then I also have some body lotion I'm trying to get better about moisturizing so um, I keep that right there where I can easily see it and then over here I actually used to have a picture hanging up but I decided that I wanted a hanging wall shelf instead to maximize space and I just think that it looks better I got this one from Walmart and over here I have a cute little picture that I got from five below just of the little leaf I guess and then I have a cotton ball holder it just has my q-tip some cotton rounds as well as cotton balls over here I have a room spray a facial toner and then I just have a candle so that is what that area looks like so right here I have a another decorational piece this is actually from Goodwill and I think that it is so so cool it is metal so it seems like it's really really good quality I love the gold I just think that it is the perfect addition to my bathroom especially because this little basket right here is also gold I also got this from Goodwill for I believe like a dollar 25 and I just keep all of my tampons and pads in there I think it's nice especially for when guests come because if they are a little bit shy about asking they don't have to okay so now I want to get into the actual like cabinets and just show you guys how I actually keep everything organized so in this first drawer I keep all of my daily things things that I use every single morning every single night I have this little box here full of everything I need to floss. I have like my just normal flossers. I have this that I use for my lower retainer. Over here, I have like all of my facial products, I guess you'd say. I have a sunscreen, just all of my moisturizers, this little under eye roller, which I actually got from the Dollar Tree and really, really like. So that is all that I have there. And then in this main container, I just have contacts, deodorant, my toothpaste, hairbrush, and then I have like melatonin that I take at night. Those are just like my daily items that I use, well, you know, every single day. So that is all in this top drawer. Okay, so moving down here, I wanna take a look at this because I feel like this has been super, super handy. I got this from Walmart and I've labeled it face, travel, hair. So on this top one, these are all like facial masks. These are actually for your feet, but just ignore that. But most of these are like facial masks. So I have like a little facial mask drawer as well as just a couple extra like moisturizers and stuff. So that's what that drawer is. This drawer is all for travel items. So it just makes it so much easier. I don't have to dig through and find all of my travel sized products. So every time I get more travel sized stuff, I just keep that in here here and then this bottom drawer this is all for like hair accessories I have a couple scrunchies I have some clips there just stuff like that I keep all of those in there I don't keep my headbands in here just because I think that would take up a lot of space but I do keep pretty much everything else in there okay so now I have a little bucket that is on top of that and this is just where I keep some extra lotions yeah there's not much to explain there those are just extra lotions that 
I have not really gotten to yet. And then behind that is just kind of where I have stuck my extra Q-tips. So the next thing that I have is this one big bucket and this is all for just miscellaneous items. I have kind of what I have the most of broken down into categories, but then of course everyone needs like a little miscellaneous bathroom product bucket. So I do have a lot of soaps. I actually used to keep those in there, but I decided it would be much better to make a travel section. So I replaced it with that. So I keep those soaps in there now. I just have like a couple false tanners, some makeup wipes, a couple bath soaks, disposable razors, just random stuff like that. So that's kind of just random bathroom supplies that didn't necessarily fit into any category that I had made. So now this cabinet is kind of like my hair cabinet, I guess you'd say, with the addition of some mouthwashes and a little bottle of rubbing alcohol. But up here, I will say it's not super organized. I just kind of throw all of my irons and my hair dryer and my big round brush up there. Nothing super organized to it, but they're also, also not super messy. As for all of my hair products, I keep them all in this bucket right here. So this is just pretty much all of my hair products that I use every single day, ones that I don't use as often, so I just keep them all right there. So simple enough, that is how I organize that cabinet. Okay, over here I have three mirrors. I actually got these from the Dollar Tree. I believe I did this on one of my videos, but I painted them all a matte black. I think that this one was gold before I painted them and then these two were maybe silver. They definitely looked cheap before I painted them, but now I think that they look pretty nice. So I just have three stacked above each other and I really like how it's turned out. You can really decorate a space to look a lot more expensive than it actually is. I mean, literally Dollar Tree, Goodwill, Goodwill. I believe this one is from at home, probably a little bit more expensive, but I do have this picture right here. It says to create something exceptional, one must be relentlessly focused on the smallest detail by Giorgio Armani. I just thought that that was super, super cool. And then over here, I do have another one. Sorry for all of the weird lighting changes. It says, keep your heels, head, and standards high. I also love that by Coco Chanel. Up here, it's just basically where I keep my towels, um, robes, my little makeup removing cloth, all of that. That's pretty much it. I guess I can show you the inside of my shower. It's nothing like spectacular. I just keep this little hanging rack to keep all of my shampoos and body washes, etc. So I keep that there. Okay, you guys. So as far as it goes with how I store my makeup, I keep all of my makeup actually in my room and not in my bathroom. I have this little set up here and I'll just go through it super fast but up here I have this little tray that I got from Goodwill and this is where I keep all of my perfumes and body sprays right here I have lip glosses and by the way I got this little makeup holder from home goods and I really like it because it's glass and I think that it just looks so much prettier than all of the normal plastic ones this I keep lipsticks this is where I keep some eye products, foundations, and then powders are right here. I have this little tray that I got from a FabFitFun box and I just have my setting spray, some beauty blender cleaner, and this little, I honestly don't understand what this is. I got that from a FabFitFun box. It's like a thermal water thing, I don't know. Right here I have, it's like a file organizer and that's what I use to organize my palettes so that they are all standing up. And then I also, of course, have a little cup for all of my brushes, my Scentsy, and then a mirror. Down here, I have my little brush cleaner that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I actually do really like this. It is very similar to the Color Switch brush cleaner, except for it's a whole lot cheaper. I have my daily probiotic. I have my nail supplies. And then in this box, this is where I just keep some extra makeup and products that I don't have room for on top of my makeup holder. Um, and here I keep all of this stuff for false lashes. And here I have like a couple palettes, just some random stuff in this box. 
All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so be sure to stay tuned for those. Bye, you guys.